Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you guys the very basic structure of how to create a simple off canvas side menu. Now if you guys don't know what an off canvas side menu is, it's basically a menu that isn't displayed at all by default, but whenever you click a button it appears. So this right here is an off canvas side menu. Now just in this video, the menu I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be really ugly because I'm not going to apply any styling to it so it's not going to look as cool as this. I just want to show you guys the basic structure of how to create a toggle button and how to create an actual menu and how it differentiates from your main content and then I'll leave the styling up to you guys. So now that we know what it is let's go ahead and create it. So the first thing you should probably notice is that I took that row that we used in all the demonstrations so far and I deleted it because we aren't starting with a simple template what we're gonna do is we actually want to have part of our template off the screen at some times that left menu so instead of a row what we use is a class called off canvas wrap now the only other thing that we need to add in here is data off is it going to pop up canvas so this says that we want to make a layout and foundation and it's gonna have a off canvas side menu now inside here actually you might want to add it like this so div class inner wrap so now inside here is pretty much where we're going to be putting all of our stuff, the menu, the main content, everything. So anytime you make one of these menus, this is your starting point right here. Now for this menu demonstration, we're going to have four basic parts. And let me write a comment for all of these parts right now. The first one is the toggle button. So this is the thing that you click and it toggles the menu to be displayed or not displayed. Now, let me add all my comments right here so we can see that the different pieces we have to make before I actually start making everything. So the second piece is the actual menu and I'll say off canvas menu. So this is going to be the area that slides in and off the screen. Now the third part is just your main content. So this is just the body of your website whether it's, you know, the welcome screen, your profile picture, um, you know, just the main content of your website. And the last thing is going to be really easy and you guys are going to understand um, what it is later on. But I'll just say, um, how can I describe this? I'll say the exit overlay. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So in this demonstration, you see that if we ever want to display the menu, then we can toggle it on and off with this button right here. But you may want to add functionality to your site where if the user opens the menu and they're like, eh, I don't want to display it anymore, they can click in this area. And that's what some people do. They actually don't click the toggle button again. They click in this area whenever they just want to hide the menu again. Well, that's what that last piece of the puzzle is going to be right here. The exit overlay is pretty much going to overlay your entire main content. And whenever they click it, it hides the menu again. Simple enough. So those are the pieces, let's go ahead and get started. So the toggle button is actually really easy. You can make it a fancy button if you want, but in this tutorial I'm just going to make a really simple link. Again, the look of it is up to you. I'm just uh, going to show you guys the functionality of how it works. So for the class, the class you need to set to left off canvas toggle. So the toggle left off canvas toggle that's the class of the button or the link itself now just for the link you can just make it a dead link and I'll just say toggle menu so whenever we click this what it's going to do is it's going to hide or display the menu depending on if it's already showing or not so now we actually have to make the actual menu so we have something to toggle so I'm gonna set this equal to a side and for the class, this is where you said to left off canvas menu. So remember, these are similar classes, so don't get them confused. The toggle at the end is for the toggle button. Whenever you see menu at the end, it's for the actual menu that's going to be sliding in and out. 
Now inside here you can actually have anything you want. I'm just going to make a really uh, simple unordered list. And for the class I'll just say no bullet. Since I don't want those uh, little dots on the left side of my list items. And let me just add some fake list items real quick. So A, href. And I'll just say... Okay, making sure it didn't autocomplete in a weird way. And why am I getting an error right here? Because it did autocomplete in a weird way. All right, that's a little bit better. For some reason, whenever I make links inside of list items in this IDE, it's uh, kind of annoying. So I'll say home, profile, and logout. Now in this demonstration, clicking on these isn't going to do anything. It's just for uh, looks. But this is how you would do it if you ever wanted to. Now for the main content, this is where you write all the stuff we've been learning up to this point. So again, nothing new here. All you do is you make a basic row and you stick your columns inside. So whether you want it to be images, headings, quotes, pictures, whatever you want, you don't need to you know, make this specific to the actual menu or anything like that. Just make a normal website right in here and all the surrounding stuff is going to take care of handling it properly. So I'm just going to make uh, like three columns. I'll say class. Uh, let me just make two. So medium six and I'll give it a background color of two and columns. So I just say uh, we can put in here like hey now dude And let me just add another one and give it a different background color of three and I'll say this is some sample content. Looks good. So a pretty boring site but whatever it'll be good for this demonstration. Now the last thing I want to do is add that exit overlay. So for this I'm gonna add a class and this is exit off canvas. Now it's just gonna be a link. Are you freaking kidding me? All right. So this is going to be a link and nothing is going to be inside this link because whenever we give this class it's just going to overlay your entire main content right here. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. So this is our incredibly horrible looking <laughs> website and whenever we click the toggle menu look at that our menu appears on the left side we can click it again to show it or hide it and of course our main content right here adapts appropriately. Now, you usually would want this toggle menu in some kind of uh, top navigation bar that you create, and you would want to make this not look like, uh, you know, I'm going to throw up whenever I just looking at this website design. But again, the styling is up to you, and I'll show you guys why I included this element right here. Because if the user ever has this open, and let's say I want to hide it, so I'm just going to click right here then it closes. So you don't have to hit the toggle button, you can actually click anywhere on the screen when the menu is open and it's going to close. So again this only works when the menu is open. When it's already closed and you try to click then it's not going to do anything, it's just going to ignore it. And again most people will use this whenever they're working on smaller devices like phones because they're always tapping with their finger it isn't really the mouse you have to worry about. But there you go, that's the basic structure of a simple off canvas side menu. Remember, make your main template and then have four parts. The toggle button, the menu itself, the main content, and the exit overlay.